Hey everybody, this is Abby from Realistic Kitchen and Gardens, and today we're making an old-fashioned style meatloaf with oats. So we're going to be using a third cup of old-fashioned rolled oats. They come in gluten-free versions if you need them. I have a quarter of a large onion and hmm, five cloves of minced garlic. Use as much garlic as you want and the amount of onion really doesn't matter um, as long as you don't get equal parts onion to meat because then it just ends up uh, making a chunky mess. Um, and you wanna dice it pretty small because then it cooks more evenly and you get less of a crunch from it when you bite into it. A third cup of milk. Could probably get away with water or broth if you need it. Gonna do Worcestershire sauce, about a half a tablespoon. This is the brand I happen to have found lately. And we're also going to use about two tablespoons of ketchup. This is my home canned ketchup from uh, August. So I have that in this bowl here. Keep that for the end. Gonna do one egg. It's a homegrown egg, so that little dark spot is a meat spot. It is not harmful in any way. And then we're gonna do about half a teaspoon of salt. As much pepper as your soul calls for. I use uh, fresh black peppercorns, so they're really hot, so I don't need nearly as much as the recipe would call for. Usually it's about a quarter teaspoon of pre-ground stuff. That's it. We're gonna mix this, use a spoon, use a spatula, use your hands. I don't care what you use, just mix it up. You want this until just combined, otherwise it can get a little bit tough, but you want everything distributed evenly. All right, I'd call that even. Then we're gonna put it in a bread loaf pan, four and a half deep, five wide, 11 and a half long. Use whatever you want, I don't care. Gonna just put this in our pan. Press it down so there's no big bubbles underneath. Okay, hands are clean. Last step is to top with your favorite barbecue sauce. I have this from when I made, I actually made this in December, using up some of the tomatoes from the garden. Use whatever you want. Spicy, favorite brand, whatever you want. This is a one cup jar, so you want about a half cup. Angle it so it covers everything, and then bake in a 350 degree oven for 45 to 60 minutes. Best way to tell when it's done is when it reaches 160 degrees with a meat thermometer in the center, right in the center. All right, and we're done. I usually let this rest and as you can see, the meat does pull away from the sides a little bit, and there is a decent amount of liquid in this. Um, mostly it's the fat from the meat itself. My husband actually usually just puts a spatula on top and then tilts it to pour it. Um, I have also put parchment paper in the bottom before I put the meat in. People usually do it with brownies, but they do it so that they can just lift it out. But I would worry about the meatloaf itself cracking. This is really flavorful. It's really savory, but a little bit of sweet from the barbecue sauce. And the oats and the egg act as any other binding type agents. They just kind of hold things together so it's not super crumbly. So I really recommend you try it at least once. If you had a poor experience with meatloaf, just try it. If you do a double batch, I would do two loaf pans so that you're not stuck in the oven for like an hour and a half, two hours. Because again, it's to penetrate the center for cooking. It's not to cook the rest of the little stuff. So if you like this kind of stuff, please like, comment, and subscribe and follow along for more. And especially follow the shenanigans on my Facebook page, Realistic Kitchen and Gardens. Thanks. Bye.